I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous to see how this whole New York office thing looks. I'm sure it'll be great, Blake. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, you have your own private lounge, and then just the regular lounge, and then you have double desk space. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Wait till you see the next part. Part two. This is the door to our new penthouse. Are you excited? Very. Good. Oh, oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is amazing. This is so cool. I know. Wow. This is just, this is just so beautiful. Okay, I got a call about hallucinating and seeing squirrels and something. So what's going on here? You look weird. <laughs> no, you look weird. Nah. -uh. What are you two-year-olds doing? Oh, hi, Cheyenne. I'm over here. Oh, hi, Cheyenne. Do you like my new glasses? Sure, I guess. Uh, I, I guess they're nice. I can't see through them. Then why are you wearing them? Are you having some problem there, Stormy? No, but everything looks like a circus mirror. Feather, what the fur is going on with these two? Okay, so, I kind of tricked them into going to your boyfriend's sister. I'm on board with this whole idea, but first of all, we have a little bit of business to work out. Hi, Cheyenne. Wait, Wait what? what? I'm over here, girls. Oh. Feather, take those glasses off of them before they actually fall off a cliff. Better. Hey, how'd I get here? Oh my gosh, look at the car. Okay, that being said, I need a complete new outfit. Blake and I are going on a date tonight, but the problem is, it's kind of like our first date, even though it's not our first date. It's very important because it's our first date in New York, and when I was in um, California, I was away mostly, so this is gonna be our first real, real, real date. You've been together for six months. Same difference. Anyway, what do you have in store? Actually, I have something. Try this. I think it'll look really good. Okay. How do I look? Like a princess? Or a unicorn? Kidding. Yeah, like a princess. Exactly. Hmm. Aqua, what do you think? Oh, you look like a hippo. Excuse me? I'll handle this. Stop putting these on. Oh, you look like a princess. All right, I guess it works. Something bothering you, Cheyenne? No, not exactly, anyway. Oh, come on, Blake, where are Shut you? I'm freaking out. You know how Cheyenne just has me move in with her, and we live in this huge penthouse. And this, I have like this huge office now in this lobby, and her job's going well. She got her audition part. Well, I mean like her partner movie or whatever. I don't know, I just feel like everything's so perfect. Don't say perfect. Why not? Because every relationship has this step that when everything seems perfect, that's when you find your big problem and then it's over. What are you talking about? I was going to say everything seemed too perfect. I don't know, everything's just too right. Exactly. Ugh, Blake, look. Just watch out, okay? Fine. Blake, where the fur are you? Hi, sorry I'm late. Oh, good, you're here. You look beautiful. 
Thank you. So do you. Well, you look handsome. <clears throat> Thanks. Don't forget, whenever a relationship seems perfect, that's when you find it, and then it's over. So, um, actually I was kind of hoping that we could skimp dinner tonight and go to my sister's. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I was late. Uh, Shasta and I were talking, and it turns out, um, Ellie and everyone wants to kind of throw a welcome for us. Oh, okay. I've never met your sister. So, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go. So, Cheyenne, you're an actress, right? Yes, actually, and, um... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. My story's pretty slim. It just goes to, I'm an actress, and then that's it. Okay, so actually, the real reason that I wanted you guys here, and the only reason why I actually let Shasta through my door, was to kind of give a little bit of a surprise, and I haven't been able to say this yet to anyone except for Rusty, so here we go. Rusty and I are having a baby. Oh my gosh. Elle, that's amazing. It's amazing, Ellie. Totally. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Both. You know, you two should be taking some notes. You could be next. Oh, uh, no. I, um, I, uh, I don't know. Should I really have to unpack before even thinking about, you know, having kids? Is there more pie? Because I just lost mine.